Open live, you open live, mommy. Sir Mix a lot, and we're here with Bad Girl Cecile. And let me tell you, she has recently launched a line of hair. I'm gonna allow her to tell you about it, but um, a number of people are joining already. Cecile, um, tell us a little bit about why you decided to venture into hair. Because so many people had asked me to like front their hair for them, and they weren't trying to pay me what I would have expect I was supposed to be paid. They just wanted to give me free hair, which I was buying already anyways. And then a lot of people always ask me about the different types of hair that I wear. So I didn't want to do t-shirt and stuff that, you know, the regular thing. So it's not just about a hairline though. I want to create a cosmetic brand. I want to go into nail polish, you know, eyelashes, body stuff. So it's just building something and you have to start somewhere. So why not start somewhere where I buy it, I purchase a lot of hair and most of my friends do. In fact, a lot of the stuff that I'm packing up now are my friends supporting me before I'm even ready to sell. So big ups to all my friends. And let me tell you, she has set up a nice home home <laughs> office and the studio is right across yeah. the way. Studio keeping everything, you operate like a Chinese, my girl. Yes, but now I'm telling her all in one. Big up to the Chinese. Um, I wish I had like 15 brothers and sisters. Apart, I think I do though. Actually, I think I do. <laughs> Everybody need to come and help me. I can't wait for my friend Cassie to come because she's been like brand manager, assistant, friend, everything in one. So because we have a lot of um, orders to go like deliver. So yeah. I'm excited. All right, so talk to us about the different hair. You know, I said my hair come in like um, hair hog hair. hair. So <laughs> my hair is like hog hair, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't get, I won't get a chance to actually wear your line. You but I could? Yeah, you have so much hair. It's just a whole way to get your hair tied up underneath that. But your hair, I have hair like yours, Kinky Curly. And actually, my dancer, Amani, has the exact same hair. We're going to show people how she can still wear the same hair because we'll put it in length so they'll see the difference. Yeah. We All right, so curly is what it's called. talk to like us about hair. the different um, hair type. Okay, so um, that's your offering and the right. different styles. So for now, what's right here? We have four different styles, and I've named them after my song. I know a lot of people saw us doing the hashtag Born with it. That's yeah. actually the straight hair. We we'll call it Born with it straight. Then we have upgrade body wave they will have no stress loose wave and we have bad girl curly so all of them are named after songs and we'll be adding textures as we go along these are peruvian eight a grade and then we'll, we'll be having and it says virgin yes all right explain <laughs> for guys who probably don't understand and then we'll buy here for them girl untouched. it's exactly as it says it means untouched unprocessed here so you're only gonna get it in natural brown or natural black means it's not processed so you're not going to get black black this we dye this so black black hair is processed here you have this 1b kind of look which is like the natural black and then the natural brown but with this here you can do anything you want to do with it cut it wash it style it dye it that's why it's called unprocessed hair so you can bleach it and do anything you want to do with hold it. on select a fire raz him said that you're his girlfriend but you just don't know it <laughs> Chef Connie, so for big up and big thank up. you for the explanation. Yeah. DJ Roots, a big up. Big up. All right, so. And, and, and why I'm dressed like this? Yeah. I'm coming from the beach. I had a beach interview. And, yeah. And, and here I am in my beach outfit. I have a. Looking this hot. Is Jay Jolly. Yeah. Yes. So, um, yeah. You always dressed in these sexy kind of outfits. You ever thought about doing a swimsuit line? I know that. Um, um, and Denik is doing that. So I wouldn't, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go out and do a swimsuit line now. I've thought of it. What I want to do and what I probably will do is a baby line. Okay. A baby line of clothing. Because I find that a lot of times when I go to America to buy things for Nana, if it's closer to winter time, it's only winter stuff in my mind, all the sale for the summer stuff done gone already. So mm -hmm. I'd love to make something. For the tropics, you know what I mean? Yeah, 24, I mean, 24 7 we have sunshine, so we don't really necessarily need them warmish clothes. So I'd love to do that. Rumor has it that um, you are dating a fellow artist. Any truth to this? Rumor has it that these are fake. <laughs> and they are so real. So I don't listen to rumors. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Malika Music says um, she has a newborn. So if you friend. need if you need a brand rep, I oh, guess for the baby line that you were talking God. about. How you doing, sweetie pie? Big up the baby. Mwah, 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 mwah. Yes. She said, hey, boo. Mothers have to bond together. Hot mommies. But you know what? You made a very deep statement. I said, why didn't you get involved in swimsuit? And he said, Danique is already doing yeah, that. that um, I saw Sugar 
um, put up a post on her Instagram earlier on and she was saying, well, you know, the females are not supportive of one another. Mm -hmm. um, but that statement that you made shows support. Yeah. You know, you're not trying to cross over into no, something else. Actually. That. You're holding your lane. Yeah, I respect what she has done. I respect any any female that, that's coming out and doing their thing. Spice is doing her her boutique. That's my daughter in the background, by the way. Spice is doing her boutique. Somebody else. Dia is doing um Rebel Cosmetics and I think Hair Color. So I, I actually look at the market and look at what's there. And if, to me right now, honestly, if another entertainer had done hair, I would not have done it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was supposed to do my hair many years ago. This is three years in the making, this actual plan. But prior to that, I was thinking of it. And then Lena British came out with hair and I didn't bother. I said, you know, there's another Jamaican that was too close to comfort. And then I'm not sure what happened with that. But then she wasn't bothering with it anymore. And then in 20, 2012, 2013, I started doing my research buying my samples because i've been doing i have all my emails and everything mm -hmm. i've been doing this from 2012 2013 a lot of research lot going of into research. it before the product I've came to market a lot of hair i've thrown away a lot of hair big ups to tamar big ups to lati because they're my stylists that have been wearing the hair for years and been telling the customers and saying this is Cecilia. And actually people have ordered rejects that i didn't i didn't use i didn't end up buying so we've been doing this for a long time i hope to give people something good and um, I wear I wear quality stuff, so I hope hopefully and we're trying to be competitive with the pricing as well. So we hope that we're giving people value for money, and we know we're giving people value for money. And we know that your website your website is under construction, but yeah. you do have an Instagram page. Yeah. What's the Instagram page? The Instagram page is High Grade Hair by Cecile, and so is the Facebook page. I'm actually I've just started doing it yesterday, and I have about thirty four followers already. And you know what? I love these 34 followers so much. Not that I love them more than how I have 100,000 on Twitter for bad guys to see like nearly 60,000 for, for Instagram and 200,000 on Facebook. But I'm just saying for my business, the 34 followers that I have so far is as important to me as 250,000 on my music page. So. so one of your fans, Chef Connie, he says... Um... He is suggesting that you also do wigs for ladies who don't have time to sit down and actually put the hair yeah. um, in. Right, right. What we will do, in, what we're also going to offer is clip-in extensions like this. I just came from the beach, people. This is why I look like this. And can I tell you, we're on Waves Beach and it's beautiful out there. I don't know. It was very overcast, but it was very windy and that's why I'm like, my hair is like this. But mm -hmm. um, we're actually doing clip-in extensions for people that wants to just... Boom in, boom out. And this is, I only wear clippings. I can't bother with the full weaves. And I personally don't like closures. Um, so, yeah, we're going to actually do that. We're actually going to custom make things. And we're going to custom make the extensions. And we're going to actually sell the ones with the extensions. Sell the clips, sell the bags, everything. So you can go on um, the IG page, which is High Grade Here by Cecile, and check it out and see. So, yes, that's a very Spell it out idea. for some of your non-English fans. Okay. Like Fire Reds, he's from Costa Rica. He said Costa to blow him a kiss. Mm -hmm. No, no, and no. big up Delamar from RDX who big just joined Delamar. in. Okay, so it's, um, and Shakila. Big up Shakila. It's high grade, H I G H G R A D E. High grade. Well, let me double check, y'all. High grade here by Cecilia. By Cecilia. It's high grade here by Cecilia. Because actually, the Twitter page is different. It's high grade. Uh, let me just here. zoom in on the hair um, real quick while you go to. Yeah. the um, So it's 100% virgin hair. Virgin baby, the only way to go. And um, they give you instructions. They tell yeah. you the hair type, the color, mm -hmm. and all of that. The style. Really cool. And there you go with my song names, and that's like the inches. Mm -hmm. And then I have my signature. Delamar, so you look hot. Oh, <laughs> so these are my friends are supporting me. If you look at the top, I have signed my signature for them. Big up yeah. Annie, as Annie's friend Stacy, my sister from NCB has made her her co-workers buy from me. So. I probably will be these selling out colors. before. Yeah, these are like samples. That, and these are like sample bags. that I, I like the bags give. though. This Why did like, you decide to go with that? It's almost like when you're traveling with yeah, your this suits. Is, right. This is this is what you hang in your closet to keep your hair safe. Oh. I, I'm doing stuff that I do for myself. Mm -hmm. That is probably secret stuff. Mm -hmm. And look at this one. So this is a nice small one. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. If you want to keep one bundle in there. Okay. That's what Can you we do. see that around? Can we see our, the other side where yes. the zipper is? There's some That's writing it. on it. It says info at high grade here by Cecile. All right. Com. Everything. Yeah. That's the bottom. Delamar said, good look. Thank say, you look good. <laughs> So oh, you recently, yeah. um, you, you came back from Aruba recently? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
yeah what, what what was happening there well that was the electronic festival and um, i was invited by amsterdam dance events ade and they actually um had a forum where they were networking and talking about the importance of jamaican music and caribbean music at large on edm music which is electronic dance music well what are some of like the pointers that you learned well you know they've been talking about i didn't even know that there was CDM that they're coming up with which is Caribbean dance music so there's a movement in the Caribbean to create this because they feel like we've we've um, put so much of our, our culture and stamp on EDM that they wanted to create something that's theirs and I think that's coming out of St. Vincent but basically what we're saying is just they want more people involved and I think some of us have this concept especially with Diplo that he came here and he exploited stuff and whatever but it was a back and forth discussion so yes, some stuff we need to get back um, income into the Caribbean from this because there's so much going out from our culture. But it's also, we don't have the machinery to push certain things. So like, for example, Busy Signal. A lot of people know him, but for where he he's now, because of the song he did with Major Lazer, it, you know, we wouldn't have been able to do that by ourselves. I mean, there's a flip side to it because somebody was complaining that when they're in France and it plays on the radio, it says major laser only. So we were back and forth about the oh, pros okay. and cons and, and how we need to um, get the income back into Jamaica, back into the, or whichever Caribbean island, back into the artist's pocket so that the artists that are featured or culture that is featured on these things get more recognition and in turn other artists get to be recognized from this. But it was great and this was the first set of people that actually gave credit to Jamaica and Caribbean for the impact that we've had on, on um, EDM music and representing Jamaica was myself and Kamal Banki mm -hmm. <laughs> because you know they've, they've done a lot of EDM shows mm -hmm. here and um, yeah it was really 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 cool they had publishers from BMI, Warner Chapel, um, producers I mean, Afrojack was on the show, Chucky. Huge um, producers. Yes. Um, so we, we, we got to... I actually performed at the block party and then they invited me to perform on, on, on the, 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 the electronic festival, which is pretty cool. And my brother Cuban was with me, so he jumped out. And you know, we performed the Bam Bam. It was so cool. <laughs> every, every, every DJ that went up had a Bam Bam EDM song in their, in their set. So cool. Yeah. And um, you're gonna you're going away soon because persons are asking what you're working on right now. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Delamar Sam girl needs some other here day. All right. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of kudos I from Delamar right now. Men. Big up to the men who, who who don't have a problem with them women. Where we wear it, I will take it out. I will good again. I love that. I love that. <laughs> link, 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 link. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So you're going away very soon. Yeah, um, we're 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 supposed to be heading over to French Guyana. Um, and um, I don't know if it's a surprise who's going to be on the show yet, so I'm not going to say because I don't know if in their country it's going to be a surprise and then I don't want to give away their surprise. But it's but a huge we'll artist. Back, right? We'll come back here. And huge overseas we'll artist who's always in the news. Right. And then Amanye is like my dancer. is coming with me. So we're working on some stuff with Amanye. And then I'm honestly trying to find a style a style that I can come. My, my Okay, come here, baby. My daughter is very upset because we're not paying her anything. Nana. I wanted to see her. Come here, sweetheart. Can you come and say hi to the video? She's just going back and forth. She's I upset. Know. And she'll come in here and say, I'm upset. Nana? Shampa from okay. Kenya says you're looking sexy and lots of love oh to Lord. you. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Please remember that I'm coming from the beach. Okay? There's <laughs> Nana. Nana. Hi, Nana. Come here. Can you say hi? She's being shy. That's the studio across the way, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Okay, she's peeping What was I out. saying? I have a bad memory. I don't even know. But this shape is so cool. <laughs> Sparks made, right? Say hi. Come say hi. hi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't remember what I was saying, but yeah. whatever. Um, yeah, that's the spark shape. It's all about... Hi, sweetie. Come and say hi. Come. Say hi, Nana. Come and say hi. You have food on your mouth. Come and say hi. Okay, so um, Delamar yeah. says, what about recording? The females are getting a lot of strength now, um, and he's not hearing you. Um, once she wants to know some of the stuff, like some of the other people on um, Periscope right now. What are you working on? We're working on, what is, what is this on your mouth? Okay, it's tissue. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Say hi. Okay. She's, she's yeah, being sure. shy. Not um, usually, on, her style. Yeah, we're working on... Remember that I sing reggae and dance all. So when you don't hear me doing nothing dance all, I have a reggae thing, you know, we tour. I, I, I've become more of this artist that doesn't like to record on Jugglings, which is a rhythm driven album with five, six people. And I don't like to record a lot because 
I see that we're recording so much and we're not selling individual songs in units and I think we're killing songs with songs so I am trying to kind of cut that out so if you don't hear me like on five six seven different beats or whatever I am doing that because I want to have a record right now that is a huge record and it's one record that I can ask my fans to buy and it's worthy of their money and I don't want to give them 100 songs per month to purchase for me and then now for myself, I've always had this problem. It's, it's a slight problem where I'll sing a song and it's huge in that one territory. And because I have so many other songs, so, and another territory, it's a different set of songs. So you find out that you do one show there, different from the one. I, I, I'm tired of that. So I wanted to come and do something, one huge dancehall track that's probably so big that it just goes across all territories and that's the song I push. Talking about territories, you recently yeah. did a combination with Doneo yeah. and Gully Bop. Yeah. Um, Mom in a like, pop in a like. I'm totally. How did that combination come about? Well, I was actually, I had done the UCLA Jazz Fest um, in LA and I was staying with Major Major and his mom and Brad. We have the same agent and Major Major is the son of Bounty Killer. And I was listening to their stuff and they, they, he has crazy stuff because he signed. And um, one of the producers they were working with was Danae and I listened to the stuff and it was crazy because I'm so much into Afrobeat. Which is kind of like what I'm working on because I'm kind of like bored with regular Cecilia. So I'm talking to some producers from Nigeria and Kenya. Also, just did a collaboration with um, Kenny Wanda and Victoria Kimani. So that's Nigeria, Kenya, um, Jamaica, which is me. And then I'm working on something with Samini from Ghana. So I'm kind of like crossing borders and doing this thing. I'm, 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 I'm bored with old Cecile and I want something new and something fresh on the beat. So different stuff songs. like, as you say, the mommy no like with Donia, the different songs. That's what I want to do. And I'm more focused on doing that than being on 15 rhythms out of Jamaica. So, so yeah, people will say that they don't hear you, but there's stuff out there. And we're also working on an album. I've approached people like Sly and Robbie, who I love so much, and said, yo, I want to go on a bam bam, I want to go on a this. And he's like, I'm ready to work, but I don't want to do that. And I'm like, no, man, more on go on bam bam. So I want to do something that it comes out and it's fresh, because if I'm bored with myself, then I figure that my fans are bored with me. I mean, I've been in this business 10 plus years, closer to 15 plus years. So it's like the same old, same old for me, I'm bored with it. You know? Okay. All right. And before I go, just remind them one more time about your... Twitter and Instagram for the hair. For the hair, the Twitter will be high grade hair. That's not up yet. Facebook is high grade hair by Seal. That's up. And Instagram is high grade hair by Seal. All right. And I figure I'll have more than 34 followers after this. Mmm. <laughs> For some strange reason, I can't stop the broadcast. It seems as though we should not stop. I guess we shouldn't stop. Okay, this was the remote for... I bought you a... Mm, what do you call it? It was a photo album, an electronic photo album. And this was the remote for it. And I cannot find the photo album. Oh, Delamar says give them a single. That's RDX. Because they do production with well, other artists. Well, let's go then. Yeah, let's go. I'm ready. All right, you hear that, Dello? So I can't swipe. I can't do nothing with the phone. Well, the we phone is frozen. <laughs> okay, fire, oh, right, fi no, fire, fire. Fire Red says, when are you coming to Costa Rica? Oh my God, I want to come to Costa Rica so badly. I've never been there. So. Ready when you're there, ready? Get me there. I, I actually did a song with a, 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 a girl, a friend of mine now from Costa Rica called Debbie Nova. Mm -hmm. A song called Cupido. Well, that's not really on the dance hall side, but she's still from Costa Rica. She's now a good friend of mine. I'm hoping to come to Costa Rica soon. I hear everybody's going down there, man. They need to get some Cecilia. In fact, somebody sent me a video from the club and they were playing Somebody Say Hey, Hey, with me and Assassin. I hear that's a very good song down there. Also, African King with myself and Chronic. So, mm -hmm. 